Hey guys, welcome back to the Medros channel and this time we're doing a little something special. So basically we thought for this video we were going to pull some topics that we find interesting and stuff that you know we like to talk about and go over what each of us thinks about them and just have a discussion and kind of like a podcast style. We are now going to discuss Indians representation in the media and I think this is going to be a juicy one. Yeah, this is one I'm passionate about. What was that? <laughs> All right. So, um, basically, what do you think about the way Indians are portrayed in the media? So do you just think do that your, it's accurate. Yeah, do your little piece on it. What do you think? All right. So, what do I think? I think that Indians are portrayed really poorly in the media. So yeah, we're focusing more on the American media. So like American movies, American. TV, um, music, TV like music, even like video games or uh, I don't know, books, I don't know if you want to include that. I mean personally, I think Indians are portrayed really inaccurately. Like The Asian community has made some strides in, you know, getting representation. I think South, South, Asians. South Asians haven't really made the same strides in Hollywood or in video games or, um, you know, as any of those media really. You're never going to, you never really see an Indian as a main role in a Hollywood movie. You never see an Indian, um, you know, as a video game character unless they're like, even recently, there was a video game trailer that I was watching uh, for the game, what was that game, Fallout? The Cyberpunk? Game? Cyberpunk. Um, and I was just watching this trailer and the Indian character is the taxi driver. Again, the, the guy with the bug is driving a taxi. So bug is turban. Yeah, yeah bug is turban. So that was a little disturbing to me in that you would really still to this day don't have the representation, and I know people get angry when people talk about Apu, like, you get people angry that Apu's about representation, but then you also get people, a lot, a good number of people on the other side saying, that's like fine, that's, uh, you know, you guys are overreacting, but it is something that is up to our community, I guess is one thing that I want to make clear in this video. So I feel like the East Asian community has made a good, great strides in getting involved and putting themselves forward and getting cast in roles. Um, and I do think one of the messages I want to get across is that it's actually up to the South Asian community, in my opinion, to start breaking into these roles and, you know, directing these movies and casting people that um, can play these roles. First, let's talk about the Indian accent and how mm. it has just been destroyed mm. in movies, media, just basically all media. Like, can you imagine a main character, a serious, awesome main character <laughs> with an Indian accent? Yeah, you can't. With without an laughing. Indian accent. That has never happened, and in the foreseeable future, that will never happen. Mm -hmm. Like, you either have the Indian character with an accent as, like, for comedy, like the accent is for comedy, or for lighthearted scenes. Like, you can't have a character with an Indian accent right. with, like, Serious, like imagine a really angry dude. Yeah, with an Indian accent. Yeah, you just laugh at this. Or point. like a caring person, you're displaying all these different emotions right. with the Indian accent. You just can't have that in right. And what what do you think about that? Yeah, this so, is kind of sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, this is kind of like an off tangent. I don't know, but I found this. I read something really like interesting a couple of years ago, which is what it was like a picture of like a, a guy saying something like in French, and like an American was like, was "Oh my god, that's so this. attractive!" Like, I was just about and then if this. you have an Indian accent, a guy with an Indian accent, it's gonna be like, "Ew, like exactly. curry, like." Ew, you know what I mean? Yeah, so exactly, I was just about to jump into that. It's such a good segue. What I was about to say is, it's funny how, this is why a lot of people don't understand, you know, why are these Indians getting mad at a poo? You guys don't really, you know, the people that are saying that, do not understand how much damage a poo has really done to the Indian community. That's actually true. It is, he probably is the sole reason, and I'm not exaggerating, that the Indian accent is seen as comedy. If you had, like why, you have to understand, why is French seen as a sexy language? Like, yes, it sounds nice, um, but that is also cultural. That's how you present it. You had a French guy presenting you. Do, super do, sexy blah, blah. Yeah. If you had done that same <laughs> yeah. thing, we laugh now. We laugh now. But if you had done that same thing, if American media had picked up an Indian person when make they were in Hollywood, hot. make him super hot, picking up girls with his Indian accent, I'm telling you right now that Indian accent would be a hot accent. It is it, it is just the way it's portrayed, and that is why people are so angry at what Apu has done. You cannot, like Sean said, imagine you're watching a Steven Spielberg movie, you're watching like Saving Private Ryan, the dude's down and he's asking for that he needs support or something like that, and just, hello, help me, and you just can't connect to that at this point. Yeah. It's so much damage done in American yeah. culture, and unfortunately, like, Indian people are paying the price to this day 
with that about that accent in the West. Yeah, so, and I mean, I can from my experience as a kid, I can tell you right away that the Indian accent for me, because I mean, we have limited media as kids. We didn't have like all the internet, all the right. YouTube's available to us when we were kids. So basically, to me. The Indian accent was ruined by a poo. Mm-hmm. Like that was linked to comedy. Yeah, and, that's the first time I had. Um, yeah, that was like the only link. And then the other link was like um, the British accent was seen as charismatic and awesome yeah. by like James mm-hmm. Bond. Yeah. So from my personal experience as a kid, like those two accents were defined in media exactly. mm-hmm. for me. Um, that's a good point. Yeah, you know, imagine growing up and instead of James Bond, you just had an Indian accent. We'd all be just thinking that was awesome. So it's so. You know, based on what our yeah. culture has forged. Yeah, just think of they might feel. Yeah. Just think of an entire population in India, like a billion people now might feel ashamed because of the way they speak. Like that's really bad. Yeah, I will say though, after talking to a bunch of Indian people like from India, they are not afraid of their yeah, accent. Okay. They're very oh, confident yeah. about their accent. They should be yeah. and it sounds great and there's literally you know, it's might the West might think of it as like a funny accent, but like even myself, when I hear an Indian accent from a person from India, it does sound different. It doesn't sound like a it poo. Like um, it, it does like that. It can resonate all the emotions of seriousness, etc. It's just not portrayed in that mm-hmm. way in the West, and it's unfortunate. That was the accent. Mm-hmm. And what do you think about the emotions in general that like an Indian in media portrays? Like, what, do you think that they're always portrayed as a comedic character? Right, like, like the main thing is they're never the main character. And again, that's the... I think if they are serious, they're kind of cast in, like, Indian roles. Like, mm-hmm. um, what was it, Slumdog Millionaire? was one Hollywood movie that did really well. Sure. It's because the Indian actor played an Indian in role. In India, yeah. You know what I mean? Like It, it was, wasn't in a westernized American Yeah, like, you can't have... Um, what's an example of a movie? Like, a strong male movie? Uh, like... Any superhero movie. Just like, pick a superhero movie. Like, like where... Tom Cruise or something. You can't have an Indian guy playing Tom Cruise. Yeah. Like, but then again, you can't have an Asian guy doing that either. I mean, they're making you strides, man. Have, there are some East Asian people that are having action movies out there. Like, we should pull one up, maybe. Well, like, like The just... Walking Dead, I remember when I was watching it, they have an uh, East Asian in that. I forgot his name. But he's like... <laughs> doesn't like his character has nothing really to do with East Asian like I think they barely make any references mm-hmm. in the show and I was just always like why couldn't they have like an Indian guy in it too yeah and he's a really strong character and I was just like wow they're making strides and even like if you look at talk show hosts there's Julie Chen there's um uh, there's so many Asians there's in the on the real there's Jeannie Mai yeah there's Asians um, are definitely making strides in American uh, media East Asian stop saying yeah that. dude what's wrong with Sorry. that Sorry, East Asians are definitely making strides in American media I think South, my message out of this video is South Asians, we need to follow that route and create our own path as well. They're doing, you know, basically emulate what they're doing. I think even in the beauty industry, if a brown girl gets picked for a campaign, or a South Asian gets picked for a campaign, it's purpose, like solely for the purpose of being the token diversity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it. exactly. I feel like um, in certain other like cultures or groups, they're just taken as people. While for Indians, they're taken as, the token as Indian, like if you, uh, for video games as an example, you're pointing out Cyberpunk or um, even like Punch Out, any game, they're usually portrayed, they're usually taken just to be the stereotype. They're taken more for the stereotype than as a human being. Right. Um, or and, even if nowadays if people are trying to make good movements, it's picking the Indian person just to say they are a diverse company or something. Well, that, isn't that fine then? What's wrong with Yeah, that? it's fine. Of course. I'm all for it. If a brand came at me and said they wanted to be diverse and include me, that's fine. But also, then it should be an industry standard. It shouldn't just be like a... You know what I mean? Like, it's just... I feel like sometimes it's forced. Like, it should be yeah. feel more uh, included. Like, make your campaigns... I don't know. Emphasize it more or something. Don't just, like, throw me in there to promote some diversity. Well, I guess, yeah, you're right. It is a good thing. But... Right, it is a good thing. But I it think just that's sometimes a way feels to start. Forced. Yeah, I feel like that's the way to start it, though. Is this forced? You know, a lot of people say, like, why is this forced stuff going on? I guess that is the way. Yeah, that is a good thing, To start course. it off, you yeah. know. I mean, in, sure. And hopefully I, people are exposed and start doing it on their own. Sure, but again, I think the solution is really just more awareness. Yeah. Like, when you think of people, then brown is just this nobody knows what it is in right. the West. It's like... Every group, not even, think about the one billion people in India alone, let alone all the other brown countries. One billion people just get grouped into one huge bunch. Right, and then this is where we, go ahead, sorry. Oh, so I was just saying that there's no awareness of really anything brown um, in Western 
uh, culture. Right. Like people are just like, okay, brown people. Right. Like it is because brown kind of doesn't sell. Uh, it's not really that I guess they haven't tried it yet. Maybe they need to try it and see maybe it does sell. But I feel like they've probably done some numbers and seen it doesn't sell. Yeah. And I think that probably stems, unfortunately, back to uh, the unfortunate roots of 9-11 and terrorism and how Brown is viewed in America and how the majority of people don't really connect with it. Uh, with brown people as a whole, I don't think terrorism plays that big of a role. I think in, media. I think brown in public, in public a opinion. I think it's I a subconscious thing. For yeah, I think it's what? internal bias. Like I think yeah. someone's making a movie and they're like, they're not people. Majority of people are of America are not going to connect to a with this brown protagonist who, we, oh God forbid, they put a turban on him. Like nobody's going to. Because the truth to that. is, though, that um, like for example, you're talking about numbers. There's actually a lot. Everything though kind of is. I feel like I keep bringing beauty examples, but in the beauty industry. There was a found, and when some companies come out with foundation lines, they don't expand past a certain shade because past like NC42, for example, is a minority of like maybe um, African Americans or really dark South Asians, etc. And those are a minority as, as opposed to the amount of white shades and white people who are buying the foundation. Mm -hmm. And so they don't care to impress the minority. They mm -hmm. just want to get their numbers, get their sales, and impress the 70% of different colored white people or different colored lighter shades. Sure, but even if there are not that many Asians or South, there's not that many South Asians in media, mm -hmm. sure, there's not a market for it. There's really no reason uh, for financially to put that many South Asians into like a movie. Why, when they are portrayed, are they so inaccurate? Exactly. Like, yeah. if you portray a couple of them, at least do it right. I 100% you know agree. I, mean? yeah, 100 agree that. I also think that we need to do a better job of if you are an actress in Hollywood or an actor in Ho or Hollywood as an Indian person, I think that you should be using your platform to maybe be a little bit more educational. Because mm -hmm. like, that's the only way we're going to break through. I think people. there are a lot of influencers who are South Asian who don't use their platform to educate about anything. Mm -hmm. About their own South Asian-ness. Because I think, again, I think it all comes back to what sells. They're, yeah, they don't that want is to talk not about it. Sell. That's exactly. not that they're to tarnish yeah. their brand. Even though they might be passionate about it, I'm sure. I already have some names of some really great, big, even Punjabi people. But I understand why they don't want to bring that up. I don't fault them for it. It would just be nice to see that awareness we brought to people. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah. That's and then, cool. like, the, the main thing to hit it home and why it is that it doesn't sell, I do think that the stigma of terrorism and this and that, I think that plays a big role. I don't think they're stigmatized by it, and I don't think um, that's going to prevent the sales from coming in. I think Brown definitely is going to prevent sales from coming in at this point of where we are in America. Yeah. And that's a really good, really good example. Yeah, but that, even with that taken in, sure. I, you know, even taken from the business perspective, I know that we are the ones that are going to have to, or like, you know, the next generation is going to have to be the ones that break through. Break through but break through. But um, that still shouldn't, like you guys said, stop them from giving us accurate portrayals. Like, why is that cyberpunk taxi mm -hmm. driver still there? Like, that actually was a little shocking to me. I'm not usually triggered by any of this stuff, but like to blatantly have a game where you have all these different characters, yeah, kind of and the Indian guy nice. with a turban, with an Indian accent, is driving your taxi. Like, that's where I understand. Like, that's there's a little something wrong with yeah. that. And for people who aren't really aware like the Indian person with a turban is usually portrayed at 7-Eleven mm -hmm. or as a taxi driver right. or as a truck driver like and while are, there sorry for getting you up and while there is some truth to exactly, the stereotypes absolutely. we're not denying there's truth mm -hmm. to the stereotypes there's a limit though to how much you push the truth to the point where you literally set back the rest of the population mm -hmm. right like that's where you because like there's again are there white people that are 7-Eleven yes. drivers are there black people that are truck drivers Whatever they are, the same the Indian same roles, but you still show the, the ones that are doing other things as well. Like show some Indians yeah, that are Indians doing something else something except else. driving the taxi car. Like yeah. while that is sure that is what they come here and that's the job they get and that's what they work hard at. If you want to portray that, that's great. But like give us a main role once in a while. Like Marvel, if you're no way in mm -hmm. hell is anyone yeah. out there listening. But let's get an Indian character in there somewhere. You know, Marvel and all these movies are doing such a great job. The new Spider-Man. The new Spider-Man. <laughs> exactly. I and like that would be Tom. try not to make him to know Spider-Man again would like kind Tom. of be comedic. 
Yeah, we like Tom Holland too. He's really he's doing a good job. But... <laughs> I was going to say, also, I don't want people to come at us and say we're super sensitive. Because when we were growing up, we always said, like, oh, it's fine. It's yeah. okay. Like, we're even not, now, we're not Yeah, we're not, like, triggered. Yeah, but even so, you have to also look at, okay, what is this doing to us, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm um, sure you can say we're triggered or we're... Uh, sensitive. Not exactly. Ex extremely sensitive. But again, you have to look at the other side. What are the negatives of this negatives. portrayal? And you see all these attacks on uh, taxi drivers or oh, attacks yeah. on uh, 7-Eleven because they're not humanized. They're seen mm -hmm. and they're not That's really portrayed with different emotions That's and deep. characters as like other people are really in media. Like we're kind of seen as the other, right. the brown. Right, right, right. Uh, and if I think if we had proper portrayal in media where we had all the different emotions and we were seen as human beings. I don't think there would be such because there's literally we even some of our relatives they're senselessly attacked mm -hmm. for like yeah. no reason other than they have a turban and they're brown. Mm -hmm. um, and also just think of being a young kid like a young twelve year old boy. Mm -hmm. What type of damage that does to you? Like the stereotypes all you see in media like that kind of limits what you think you can become because. Like I think every kid looks up to people in media, looks up to the superheroes, right. and um, not only do the little people, the little twelve, <laughs> little people, not only does the little twelve-year-old not have anyone to look up to, but the few people he does have to look up to are just gross characterizations of like comedy. Yeah. Yeah. So I do think that the damage is far greater than um, value and stuff like that. Exactly, yeah. any comedic value or entertainment that um, Indians give to people. Yeah, and one of the reasons I brought this topic up is I don't think that this is a minor issue where Indians are stereotyped just a little bit. I think that this is one of the most gross mischaracterizations of any group that I've ever seen. And it's so inaccurate and I do see the effects. Even though it's not a direct A to B where uh, media's representation is causing a negative effect, I do think that Indirectly, like we said with terrorism and um, with Indians not viewed as full people, like with all different emotions, either seen as like one note comedic people, mm -hmm. um, I do think that that has a subconscious effect on Indians and the way they're treated. Right. Um, and even not only for people with Indian accents are grossly stereotyped, I think even subconsciously, like the regular Indian dude, I do think that he's kind of stereotyped in a way. Mm -hmm. um, but that's where I come down on Yeah, it. and along with that, I just want to add, I completely agree, and then just adding on how complacent we are in the South Asian community with how we are represented in American media. We did have the outrage with that poo, but I think we can do more to push ourselves forward and represent ourselves as, you know, people who we are, which some of us are really badass people. So hopefully that gets portrayed on the screen someday. Mm-hmm. What do you oh, think? Why is she cringing at everything I'm saying? <laughs> I what? just like that. Yeah. What do you think? I think you guys summed it up pretty well. Um... <clears throat> what do you think the way you're stereotyped? as an Indian makeup artist. Um, yeah, how do you like the... You're pretty for an Indian girl. That's true. That is a comment. But, I mean, like we discussed it already, yeah. I feel like there's just progress that needs to be made. I mean, obviously that's not something I'm okay with. This phrase is stupid. Like, you're pretty for an Indian girl, etc. Do you think Indian beauty takes a hit because of the way Indians are not portrayed in I India. actually think that mm -hmm. we're turning to a point of where Indian beauty is actually being more appreciated now because I think uh, as much as people hate the Kardashians, I think they definitely made a difference as far as changing the ideal of beauty from the typical blonde girl with blue eyes. There's nothing wrong with that, mm -hmm. but they did change it in the American culture to be uh, appreciative of dark hair, dark eyes, tan skin. I do think they made a difference in that and I think that's why people still comment and think I'm pretty is because the perception has totally. changed a little bit. So that was a different <clears throat> tangent, but um, no, was a damn good I think that we did make progress in the beauty industry. I think a lot of people are definitely trying to be more tan, get darker foundation shades, etc. I think the perception of beauty in, in American culture has changed mm -hmm. a lot. So thank you guys for watching. If there's anything you disagree with, go ahead and write it up in the comments. Let's all be nice and have a conversation. I know these are kind of controversial topics. so. Uh, follow us on Instagram guys, subscribe, like this video, share it. Thank you so much for watching, really appreciate it, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Right, later!